Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a homemade problem on complex numbers. These problems are obviously easy to make but I just thought of the idea so that's why I call it homemade. We have an equation r times e to the power i theta equals 2i and we're going to be solving for two variables r and theta. Because E and I are constants, we're going to be solving for R and theta. I'll be presenting two methods. Please let me know which one you like better. And if you have any other ideas, always share in the comment section down below. So let's start with the first method. We have something called Euler's formula, which is beautiful. And we talked about this in lecture videos. If you haven't seen them or if you're not new to complex numbers, go ahead and check them out. Now, Euler's formula gives us a beautiful identity, which can be expressed as e to the power i theta equals cosine theta plus i times sine theta. Okay? Awesome. Now, obviously in this case, theta doesn't have to be real. It can also be complex. Now, if you multiply by r, you're going to get r e to the i theta which gives you r times cosine theta plus i sine theta, which is basically a complex number written in polar form. And we are given that this is equal to 2i. But the question is, how do we express 2i in polar form? So let's go ahead and do it. And then we're going to be comparing the two polar forms. Okay? So how do we write 2i in polar form? Think about 2i. It's basically... 0 plus 2i or it's the same thing as the point 0 comma 2 so it's just going to appear here and its distance from 0 is basically going to be 2 units so r I don't want to say r for that but let's just say r prime is 2 for that and the angle is going to be pi over 2 degrees but remember that's just the principal value of course you can go ahead and increment this by multiples of 2 pi, which gives you infinitely many values for this angle. Okay, great. So that's why there is two different ways to express the angle, argument with a capital A and an argument with a lowercase a. Anyways, that's a different story. Let's go ahead and simply write this in polar form. So modulus is 2 and the theta is pi over 2. So we get the following. R times cosine theta plus i sine theta on the left hand side equals 2i which is 2 times cosine of pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. I'm just going to use the principal value first and then I'll tell you the general solution. But let's go ahead and keep it simple first. So what do you get from here, right? By comparing these two expressions, looks like we have r equals 2 and theta equals pi over 2. But can you safely say that? Is it necessarily true that uh, r is always 2 from here? Let's go ahead and take a look at the real parts and the imaginary parts. That's the best way to compare two complex numbers, kind of break it down and look at their real parts and imaginary parts. So the real parts are supposed to be equal like this and the imaginary parts, which is r sine theta and 2 sine pi over 2. Notice that in the imaginary part you do not include the i, you only look at the coefficient of i. Okay, so in other words when you have a plus b i, b is the imaginary part. Make sense? That's also the name of the channel by the way. Anyway, so we have this equation or equations, a system of equations. By looking at these equations, can we safely say that again r equals 2? So here's one thing that you can definitely check out. Divide these equations and then the 2's are going to cancel out and the r's are going to cancel out. So you're going to be able to solve for theta. Obviously, pi over 2 is a solution, but that's not the only solution that comes from here. By the way, you're going to be getting something like tangent. Uh, so you kind of need to be careful about tangent uh, not being undefined, so on and so forth. But as a result, you can get r equals 2 from here and theta equals pi over 2 from here. But you can also write the pi over 2 as pi over 2 plus 2 pi n in the general form where n is an integer. This gives you the multi-value uh, of the 
or this is a multi-valued uh, result, so you're going to get multiple values, okay? So those are going to be the uh, solutions for the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from a second perspective, and hopefully you'll be able to compare them. Now, with the second method, we're going to stick with the Euler's formula, okay? We're going to keep it compact. So we're going to write it as R e to the i theta equals 2i. And then just like before, we're going to write the 2i in polar form. But instead of writing it like this, which kind of takes a lot of space, we're going to write it in a more compact form like this one, R e to the i theta. So what were the values? R was 2 and theta was pi over 2. So we're going to get this type of equation, right? But let's go ahead and generalize this because instead of uh, pi over 2, I can always write pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Again, n is an integer. So, uh, so the same question arises. Can we safely say that r equals 2 and theta equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi n from here? Or do we need to do a little bit of work? So let's go ahead and do some work and make it a, a little bit more concrete. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the e's on the same side. So let's go ahead and uh, divide by e to the power i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. So that's going to give me e to the power i theta minus i times pi over 2 minus 2 pi n. Because when you divide powers with the same base, you're supposed to subtract the exponents and then divide 2 by r so that you can get the moduli modulus, moduli, on the same side. Okay, great. So now we have e to the power of something on one side and the modulus 2 over r on the other side. But the problem is we need to complexify the right-hand side. So this never ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply 2 over r by e, a power of e. And the reason for that is we have e on the left-hand side. We want to be able to natural log both sides, and we're going to be doing a complex logarithm. So we do want e to the power of something. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by e to the power 2 pi k i, right? Which is 1 for any k integer value. OK, great. So now k is an integer, of course, in this case. Let's go ahead and factor out an i here. That's going to give us theta minus pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, by the way, with the negation. And it's going to be 2 over r e to the power 2 pi k i. Now we can go ahead and do the natural logs. We have a product here. So when we do the natural log on the left-hand side, we're just going to get the exponent by definition, right? That's basically what it is. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to get the ln of 2 over r, which is a real logarithm, plus uh, the 2 pi ki, which comes from the complex logarithm, okay? Now, what do you do? We need to compare these again, right? How do you compare them? Real parts to real parts, imaginary parts to imaginary parts. So that's easy, right? Look at this. Imaginary part is 2 pi k, so this is supposed to equal 2 pi k. And of course, ln 2 over r is supposed to be 0 for real r values. That means 2 over r is equal to 1, which means r is equal to 2. So we can safely say that r must be 2. And of course, if r is 2, that automatically implies, if you look at the equation from here, r cancels out and you end up with pi over 2. But let's go ahead and take a look at this equation, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and set theta minus pi over 2 minus 2 pi n equal to 2 pi k. I want to isolate theta, so that's going to be pi over 2 plus 2 pi k plus 2 pi n, but I can kind of write it as 2 pi times k plus n, but guess what? k is an integer, n is an integer, so k plus n is also an integer. Let's call it m, and we're going to get theta equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi m from here. And as you know, r is equal to 2 because we already found it. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.